I just wanted to take a quick moment here and talk about speed controllers, internal gov, external gov, whether you're doing a fly barless governor versus a ESC internal governor. Um, reason why I go through this is at Urcha, I had a handful of people I helped out with respect to getting something that just wasn't running right and they were running into problems. And what I was finding was some common themes. So I thought, let's take a quick moment and talk about some of the basics on a speed controller and how it works and what's going on so that you can help help you understand how to maybe troubleshoot one or set one up. So I figured we'd just go through a couple simple basic things and then we'll talk about what's happening. All right, obviously the instructions have a lot of this in there, but sometimes it's not clear. And so let's just take a quick step back and talk about some basics. So I'm gonna talk about the Hobbywing specific. So I'll use their terminology. So the Hobbywing speed controllers come in four different modes. You can get a fixed wing, a helicopter linear, heli linear, they call it heli linear slash external gov, or you have a elf gov or a stow gov, all right? We'll talk about those as a common thing, or we'll talk about them interchangeably. They're different, they do different things, but for the purpose of this conversation, we're gonna lump that into the ESC doing its own governor, all right? So right now we'll just call that, we'll treat that as its own little deal. So what is fixed wing? <coughs> so fixed wing is, as you change your throttle command, you will get a proportionate and immediate response on the motor speed. So if you're giving 30% as a throttle command output and you increase that to 35, your speed controller will take that increase in throttle and immediately move the motor. So there's no delay, it's just an immediate response. It's like for an airplane, right? You give a little throttle, the motor goes faster. Slow it down, the motor slows down. This only starts adjusting the motor speed when you get to 5% or greater. So if you're, you have a 1% command, nothing, two, three, four, nothing. At 5%, it will start to move the motor and it will start now, all right? Heli linear, kind of the same thing, except one difference. It has a soft start built in. So if you're increasing your throttle command, 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, at five, you will initiate a soft start sequence that will slowly accelerate the motor up to your throttle command. And then as you move the stick continue, it will give you a direct feedback. So if you're one, two, three, four, five, at 5%, that motor will start to spool up. It will spool up slow. And when it gets to whatever command you're at, say if you're five, you stop there or six, it'll spool that. But if you start changing the command from six to seven to eight to 20 to 30 to 40, as you change that command, the motor will follow immediately. So it'll respond. It's just the difference is you'll have a slow start, a slow start, right? All right, governor mode. So when you put the ESC into its own governor mode, whether it's gov elf or gov store, that motor and that speed controller, it'll do its own thinking. So as you give a throttle command, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nothing will happen until the throttle command exceeds 40%. When you get to 41%, you will initiate the soft start sequence and the speed controller will go through its soft start command, bring the motor up to speed and whatever your command reference is, will give it a speed set point. And then it will, it will control motor speed based on that reference. So this is where I run into problems with people who have had problems with it's not working right. They say, Greg, I've got a problem. My Motor is accelerating really fast, really slow. I can't get stable RPM. Um, I've got really, really high speed, then no head speed, and there's a problem. So let's, that's what I'm running into when I find people have a problem is they don't realize what they're doing here. So let's talk about that real quick. Curves. So let's talk about curves real quick. We'll use the same terminology. When I talk a linear throttle curve, that means as you move your stick between zero and 100%, you'll get a proportionate and a linear response from throttle. Stick is at the low end, so it's all the way down at zero, you'll have no throttle command. As you move your stick up, you will increase your throttle command to 100%. So if you're 50% on your stick, midway stick, you'll be 50%. Now this is a linear throttle curve. You've heard people say V curve. So they've got a V curve where the stick goes zero to 100, but they may have a V. So at zero, you got 100% throttle output as you move the stick up, you get the whatever your whatever this is set at. 
So sometimes it'll be 60% here, 50%, whatever you set it at, but a V curve means that your throttle command is going to be a function of the stick position. Once again, when we talk a flat curve, we're talking no matter where the stick is at, you will have a constant output. So if you're at zero stick, dead all the way to the bottom, you may be 60% or 50, whatever the flat curve is. As you change your throttle command, as you change your collective, you will not change the throttle command. So this is important. We talk about a flat curve, a linear curve, or a V curve. So let's go back to what happens now. So let's talk about what happens when you do your, what's going on in the helicopter. So when you're using the fly barless governor versus an ESC internal governor, let's talk about what goes on. So you know, see my little picture of a transmitter? Throttle command here, cyclic there, so collective cyclic. And I wanted to use the, I'm gonna talk about the Neo because that's what I fly and I just talked specific, but it kind of goes the same with Icon or whatever else you're flying, but I don't know what the terms they use, so I'm gonna use this one here. Look at the helicopter. You've got a fly barless unit, your speed controller. Yes, there's a battery, I don't care the battery that, but you've got a fly barless, a speed controller, and the motor itself. Now, when you are doing the NeoGov, or the governor that the Neo is gonna do its own command. You'll notice that if you're you're providing a, and when you're doing the NeoGov, you're providing an RPM set point. So you dial in 2200 RPM, 25, 28. Now we're not gonna talk about gearing, we're not gonna talk about pole counts today, we're talking about just the fact that the governor in the Neo, or the governor in the fly bar unit is providing an RPM that you want to see. The fly barless does the thinking. So it has a set point from you where you've entered it in either into your computer and you programmed it in, or like with the V control, you've dialed it on a transmitter. But you're providing the fly barless an RPM. The fly barless does the thinking. So it reads the RPM from the speed controller, takes that information in, it makes an adjustment on the throttle output to the ESC, the ESC takes that, adjusts the motor speed, and provides a feedback back. If the RPM is a little bit low, the NEO, the fly barless governor, will bump the throttle up a little bit to hold the RPM at a set point. So we're not gonna talk PID control, it's no need, but what we're doing is, the fly barless makes a decision, it increases the gas or lets off the gas to hold the RPM where you want, all right? So the fly barless does the thinking, the ESC is just responding. So in this type of process here, you wanna be in a heli linear mode. In other words, when the fly bar says, I need a little more gas and it bumps the throttle command up two, three, four percent you don't want the speed controller to be thinking any other than just move the motor. So that's why we run in that mode a linear. In other words, the motor is going to just respond to the throttle output. The ESC will respond to a throttle output signal and make the motor a different speed. It's the ESC is doing no thinking, it's just taking a command, moving the motor, and that's it. The fly bars are the thinking. Now, when you do the ESC gov, it's a different story. You're now transferring the thought process from the fly barless unit to the speed controller. So, the fly barless unit sends a percent command out. That's that flat curve. The fly barless is gonna send a flat command out to the speed controller. The speed controller does the thinking. So, if you have a flat curve, and you send 60% out, say, the fly barless gets that 60% command, and no matter where you move in your stick to fly, a little positive, negative, collective, you're upside down, inverted, whatever, climbing, slow, or slowing down, whatever you're doing, as you move your collective, your command is the same to the speed controller. So it sees, say, 60%, it provides a flat command from the fly barless to the speed controller. The speed controller now says, I've got a command to hold this helicopter at 60% speed. So when the RPM slows down a little bit, it bumps up the output signal to the, uh, to the motor itself to give a little more throttle. So all the thinking goes on here. So what I've had happen is, is people will have the speed controller set in a gov mode where it's thinking, but they'll have the fly barless in a gov mode as well. So the recent scenario I had at Urchin was a guy was running the Neo Governor, but he had the ESC set in a governed mode. So what was happening was the Neo was sending a command to the speed controller. 
The speed controller was taking that percent command and thinking, I now need to control speed. So what happened was, is it would start to make the motor speed go to whatever set point the ESC was thinking it had to hold based on that command it got. But the fly barless unit was also thinking. So as the fly barless unit saw the RPM being a little low from the motor, it would bump the throttle command up. Well, the speed controller would read that increase in the throttle command as a request for more head speed. So it would ramp up the motor speed even more. So what you have was you had two things thinking, which was basically would make the head speed change. You would make a throttle command, you'd hear a increase in speed or a decrease in speed. It was not controlling. So that's a problem. You only need, you need to make sure that only one is thinking. One should think, the other should respond. So if the fly bar is unit is gonna be doing the governing, the speed control needs to be in a linear mode. So it doesn't do any thinking, it just responds. If you're gonna do the ESC, where it's gonna do the governing mode, you need to let the fly bar not do any thinking and just provide a flat command so the speed controller can think. So that's the fundamental difference. The other problem that I've seen people run into is this issue with respect to bailout. So, with the hobby wing specifically, when the motor output command, the throttle command is between 25 and 40%, the motor goes into what's called bailout mode. Now, you have a throttle command where you can go from zero to 100%, right? So, if you are flying along and you are at say 70% output, because that's what you're, is required to hold the head speed, and you go into hold mode. If you look in your Neo, or even on your, for your flying, if you toggle whatever you're flying, if you go into hold, and you send a command signal to the speed controller that's between 25 and 40%, the speed controller is going to interpret that as, I'm doing an auto rotation, so it's going to go into what it calls bailout mode. So if you are flying along, like on your Neo, and you go into motor idle, which is like auto rotation mode, and you've got motor idle set to say 30%, what'll happen is you're given a 30% command to the speed controller. That tells the speed controller, shut her down. But remember, we're in bailout mode. So if you come out of motor hold back to motor run, in other words, you bail out of your auto, it will bypass the soft start and it will go right back into high head speed. And then you can set that delay time, one second, one and a half, two seconds. I think I've got mine set at one and a half seconds. What I've run into with this was people would have their motor idle set at 10%. So when they go to hold mode, it goes to 10. So it goes from flying right down to 10%, which that means the speed controller thinks, oh, we're off. So it turns the motor off. It's not in the range where it recognizes we're doing an auto. As far as it's concerned, you're done fine, turn the motor off. And all of a sudden you realize your auto is gonna be a little screwed up. You need to get to turn it back on. You flip back into motor run and it reinitiates a soft start. So you need to make sure that when you go to hold mode or motor idle on the Neo, you have to set that motor idle. When you go to that mode, between 25 and 40%. If you're doing a Futaba or some other radio where you actually set that flat line for your hold mode, you need to set it between 25 and 40%. That will give you that soft start back up. Or sorry, it'll give you that hard start so you can bail out of your auto. So that was the other thing I was seeing is that people were, um, one guy wanted a lower head speed. So he actually had his linear curve Remember, we talked about that linear curve. He had his first curve set at 40%. So he goes, well, I don't need to run very high head speed. I want to just start up and spool up in a lower head speed, lift off and then change high. And he goes, when I go to my idle up one, my flat curve, nothing happens. Well, it's because as far as the speed controller is concerned, you're in bailout. Remember, the speed controller will not energize and start moving the motor until it gets to 40% when you're running an internal gov, the speed controller gov. So in his case, he was running Gov Store. When he went to 40%, nothing happened because as far as the speed was 
it wasn't told her. It doesn't start until it gets over 40%. So I had him set his um, output to 50%. He went to idle up one. It spooled up softly, did its thing. When he went to hold mode, he was set at like 30%. It bailed out. When he came back out of it, it would ramp back up fast, bypass the slow start, and give him high head speed again so he could bail out of an auto. When he's done landing, he goes to motor off. That shuts it to zero, and the thing shuts off. So that's a little description of the different modes that the speed control works in, what they are, and how you need to make sure that only one of your units, either the fly barless, or if only one of them needs to be in gov mode. If the, remember the ESC, if the ESC is doing governing, you provide a flat curve. If the fly barless is doing governing, you need to tell the speed controller to be in a heli linear so that it reacts to a command immediately and it doesn't try and outthink it. It's like having your wife in the passenger seat, second guessing your driving, speed up, slow down. It doesn't work. Only one of you gets to think, the other needs to respond. I hope this has been helpful. And if you want to learn about RPM standardization and set it up, I've got other videos that talk about how to do the RPM standardization, talk about even what that is. For the purpose of today, I just want to talk about making sure that you only have one of these two devices, the fire bar unit or the speed controller, set in a governing mode, and the other needs either to be a flat curve or linear mode. Hope this is helpful. Thank you for watching, and happy flying.